okay welcome back friends now from this video we'll be uh, analyzing the pedigrees and we'll be applying these rules to find out what kind of inheritance patterns we are dealing with now let us start with the example okay, put this in my pocket okay so here say this is the pedigree this is the pedigree so female male mating with each other and what they produce male another female another male and see other male here and from here this is diseased diseased this is also diseased this is also diseased and this male is mated with another female of another generation of another family they'll produce a male which is not diseased now here this male mated with another female of another family what it produces and now it mates with another one and their child is not shown here okay so this is the inheritance pattern okay so you can look at the pedigree here it's pretty bad pedigree drawing but you can see so this is female this is male this is diseased also these all are diseased okay now by utilizing our common formulas from the beginning so you must remember these formulas are given in perfect sequence so there are three different formulas three different things you need to look for the pedigree first thing you look for whether it is coming from father to son or father to daughter to get whether it is autosomal or sex chromosomal right second thing when you once get the autosomal and sex link then you will take only autosomal part if it is autosomal one then take only autosomal formula if it is sex linked one you take the sex linked formula so you need to look for only two formulas for one uh, for analyzing one pedigree now in this pedigree this is not big this is only one two and three third generation pedigree okay so three generations are there this is generation one this is generation two and this is generation three okay now there can be a uh, problems that can be given to use five six generation pedigree those are difficult but this is pretty easy now first thing we need to look whether the trait is coming from father to son or father to daughter now we need to follow the disease trait right so this is the disease trait now we can find in the first place this is mother we there is no father which is diseased here so look back in the next generation here it is the father and again it is the father so what we can get from this father the trait is coming to a son so father to son that means it is of autosomal right so we just discard the sex linked pattern so it is not sex linked because none of the trait is coming from the father to daughter because you can can't see here father to no daughter father to no daughter but what we get father to son is the inheritance so when you get the inheritance from father to son it must be of autosomal type so it is autosomal we get this that it is autosomal now once it is autosomal type then we need to look for whether it is dominant or recessive how can we go for that only the autosomal formula once in each generation is it present in each generation we can see in the g1 the disease is there in the g2 yes the disease is there in the g3 also the disease is there so that means it is present in each generation it is autosomal it was proven in the first example now the second point yes it is present in all the generation that means it is of dominant type so we get it it is autosomal and it is dominant so the trait of the disease here is autosomal dominant that's how can imply our rules into these formulas and get the answers